My first job when I was hired was to install the Darcy in these galleries. And as I was putting it in its case and jiggled it, I heard it tick and the figures at the top move slightly. So I brought in a local expert, thinking that we might find that we were missing some significant piece, was delighted to learn that the only piece we were missing was the key to wind it. I nicknamed him Babar early on. Some of the features that revealed themselves when the wooden base was opened were very surprising and ingenious. But the most uplifting aspect was the fact that it was all there. So the clock was made, we think, in Augsburg. It strikes on the quarter hour and on the hour. On the hour, the figures of four Turks atop the minaret move around. And then there's another engine in the base of the piece that allows the elephant to inscribe a, a circle around the surface of the table. And the mahout's arm, the elephant carer's arm, pumps up and down as the elephant moves. What jumps out at you immediately is gold, uh, but the gold is on the surface, and the metals include uh, brass and copper and steel. We were fortunate the clock did not require too much conservation. There are other objects in the collection that do need some treatment, and it's our duty and responsibility that we see that that work is done. He may run around a table, but that clock is not going anywhere. It's, it's here at Luma.